Hello friends, I want to create a new format here at Tim Kirby Russia to take a look at other channels that have some big ideas, or at the very least, provide some great food for thought. Well, it is official. Next News Network can now state that we are an award-winning news channel. Ever since I started making material on YouTube way back when, the Next News Network has always been there. And today, they have over 2 million subscribers. Nice. Owner and host Gary Franchi is a true info warrior. As a one-man-centered operation, he produces the amount of video that an entire news network does. This guy is hardcore. We're going to celebrate freedom, legalizing freedom. Yeah. That's where we're here today, why we're here today. Because we want to remind everybody that freedom isn't free. You know, that's a word that's often thrown around a lot, but America is under assault right now. He's on his game all day, every day, completely relentless, yet very reasonable in his delivery and viewpoints. Good for you. All of these Martha's right. Having a discussion with someone of another race over critical issues is not white supremacy. In fact, calling it white supremacy is a cheap tactic used to discredit opponents when the person claiming it knows they're wrong. Of course, because the Next News Network challenges mainstream views on many issues, it has been constantly under attack, being labeled fake news by the same big money media that lied us into Iraq, Afghanistan, and a whole bunch of other trouble. Despite all of this, Triple N continues to survive, which is a massive achievement on its own. Basically, if you want a non-corporate, non-governmental take on news, subscribe to their channel. The greater context of the Next News Network is that in terms of media projects, although they do depend on a lot of financing, where there's a will, there's a way. A limited, almost one-man operation can actually fight the mainstream media on an intellectual and individual level. Gary Franchi is a hardcore gent, and the Next News Network is a real thinking man's channel. GCast.com. Make sure you have your coffee. Make sure you have your coffee. Well, here's what you were talking about. The mm -hmm. Democratic National Committee, the DNC, tweeted at one point that Trump had disrespected Native Americans and that the event was glorifying white supremacy. It later deleted the tweet. Yeah, so if you celebrate the 4th of July... You can't erase the internet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't erase Twitter. Um, yeah, it's not cool. Don't Don't be saying that you know celebrating the fourth of july is white supremacy don't do that your brothers and sisters in the grave right now are not fist pumping you yeah for making that call it's disgusting